Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Quantum Break on the PC. If you don't know what Quantum Break is, that's okay, because I don't really know either. It's, from what we've seen, it is like a third-person shooter, and the storyline involves time travel or time manipulation and the world fracturing and stuff like that. And it seems like a weird sell, especially because there's a lot of... There's talks of, like, live-action segments, you know, things where you have, like, real actors, it's like a TV show, and... That sounds weird. I don't think anyone's ever pulled anything like that off in any kind of meaningful way, so we'll see if this ends up being a good game, or if it ends up being an average game, or if it ends up being a bad game. I don't know. Uh, one thing to note, I have read reviews that the PC version is bad. <laughs> it has uh, all kinds of issues. I'm not entirely sure. I did try to see what my frame rate was like, but, like, Fraps doesn't work with this, so I can't see my FPS through that way. Uh, but whatever, we're playing the game, everything's maxed down, and if it ends up being crappy with FPS, oh well. Let's start up this new game, and actually get into the story. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. I like how that chick yelled at the driver for ha daring to be You've driving across the road. Years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. <laughs> she fucking walks into the street. Hey, what are you going, asshole? No, how about you? Uh, all right, let's just randomly rock around real quick because there are things around here. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, Martin Hatch. I'm surprised they gave that guy a name. Is he going to end up being important? I don't know because I've gotten like about over there in terms of how far I've actually played I this guess game. I should go find Paul. Oh, no, really? Yeah, let's go find our friend Paul. Paul told me to meet him at the physics building. And which one's that? Uh, let's see. None of these just straight up say physics? Or do they? Doesn't matter, really. Yeah, nothing actually says physics, so that's useful. Thanks, Paul. Your directions suck. <laughs> Rough night, huh? Uh, it's for... Um, I, it's just whatever's done doesn't even matter anymore. I'm... Um, yeah. Oh, how many drunk people have existential crises? here. They better head into the campus. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, man, nothing ever matters anymore. Join the protest. What's the protest for? Paul. Jack. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? 
Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Well, at least he finally gave me directions. It's the big building to the right. Okay. Hey, you! Take action now! Monarch Solutions wants to tear down the pride of Riverport University, the beautiful and historic library building generations have studied in. This is a part of our heritage, but they don't care. Are you going to put up with that? Of course you aren't. Are you going to take action? Of course you are. First of all, go online and use hashtag save the library and get loud. The only way they'll stop it is if they look bad enough doing it. Secondly, join our protest at the university on October 8th. Let's show them there are still people left in Riverport who give a crap. I... I guess... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Don't destroy the library! It has books and stuff that you totally can't read online. That's... vaguely ominous. Everything's vaguely ominous in college. It's where things go to die. Usually dreams. But sometimes those dreams ascend into lots of careers. Or the world ends because of time travel shenanigans. Some protest. We just don't know it yet because then somebody time traveled and fixed it. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Hey, don't you get sa <laughs> sassy with me. I don't go to this place. In fact, I don't know much about Jack. Babe, can we go home yet? College boyfriend. <laughs> That's his only name. Uh, Monarch problems. Sick of Monarch solutions turning our city into a corporate monopoly? So are we. Yeah, down with the system. Wait, hold up. No, this is a non-alcoholic event. Ah, uh, yeah, you definitely enforced that, didn't you? Like, every single person we ran into is drunk or passed out. Yeah, you can't go into the chemistry building, that's fine. I suck at chemistry. I have to uh, try and remember the different kinds of ways the names changed for elements. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, uh, uh hmm. Yeah, no, I definitely don't remember. It's been years. Come on, <sighs> Amy, call it a night. There's nobody left to convince. The protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. I mean, really? I've been out of school for like four to five years. I don't remember shit. Oh no. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. Yeah, sure. Explain to me exactly what's going on here. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Uh, yeah, sure. I love to look at charts. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah, check out the chart. God damn! How long has they have they Monarch's been getting fucked over? Nineteen ninety nine. Build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm. To push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city, and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Okay, well, how have they been fucking you guys over? Uh, they bought out all major tech and security companies in Riverport, evaded questioning regarding who was truly running Monarch, bought out major media outlets. Uh, okay, so basically they're just a big company that's been buying a bunch of shit and building their own buildings. Okay, I guess. And no doubt, considering that we started off the game zooming out from their building, their giant tower, they're probably going to want something with all of this time travel shenanigans as well. What is this? Serene? It's not a lake. <gasps> it's an ocean. Oh no. Everyone's going to die in there. It's Alan Wake. He's been gone for five years. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're 
were just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Every story finds its writer. have two faces, the one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. Yo, Alan Wake. I saw the words Al Alex Casey. Okay, well, Alex Casey was the character that Alan Wake had written. What are you going to do to us, Remedy? Are you making an Alan Wake 2? An Alan Wake Returns? I'd be fine with either or, as I liked Alan Wake. Or an Alex Casey game. For success. Mm. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Well, I'm glad he's meeting us out in front of the building. Hey, Paul! Hey. Protest's over. At home. You're not Paul. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Prick. <laughs> Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell at security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because <laughs> that's adorable. Just walk away. Liam Burke, a monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. <laughs> well, that's straightforward. Okay, good to know. You are going to be dealing with him probably many other times. Move along. I am moving along. God, way to be super late. Are you drunk like all those other college students? Maybe you should get fired. Oh, God. Are these... These would be windows, right? You wouldn't just have a building that lets you get on from any side. <laughs> okay, just making sure, because these are really see-through glass. This is... This is what happens to dogs and birds, all right? They run into shit because they can't you see a long trip there's, like, a wall there. A research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. Paul, has this anyone way, ever told you you'd stab someone? We're going or, well. to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. In here, Jack. Going up. No, I gotta, like, stoop, man, alright? I also gotta comment, your face looks very familiar, you look like you have the face of a person who'd stab many people in the back. And knowing that you're probably going to be the villain of this game, that's probably not all that wrong. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. Hey, Jack. Over here. Come on. Going up. Yeah, alright. I like how it said 15 minutes into the fracture and There's then I can dick around for like on. 20 minutes. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, 
then Jack. Man, look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? Ah! <laughs> There's a power I point. would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Proceed towards the lab or take a seat. Well, I mean, if you're providing the option, sure. Let me know what this project's for, friend. <sighs> we'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. Aw. That was a major All tease, right, Paul. Let's do this. You're talking about controlling so time about and shit. Quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. <laughs> well, all right. I'm gonna just take a quick look over here. The city had changed. Paul changed. Didn't feel right being back. It was your hometown. This. In six years, you never felt any desire to return? There was always more keeping me away. Yeah. I know some of that feeling. Although I say that, but I've been in the same place for like... 15 plus years. Oof. 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 Gotta move on eventually. Come on, Paul, show me your time stuff. Why do I have to walk faster than fucking NPCs in 2016? Even with the walk mode on, I'm faster than Welcome this guy. To Project Promenade. Five minutes before fracture in time. Yeah, we'll see about that. Neat. Oh shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, oh God. I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Well, why don't you make like a smaller scale model? Although I guess when you're manipulating time, you might not be able to just go smaller at first, right? You always did drag me to these situations. Me, drag you. One word, Utah. Haha, <laughs> all right, touche. And from what I hear, You've attracted plenty of trouble without me these past few years. Well, apparently it's my forte. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's got to keep tabs on you. Ooh, what's going on here? Mer, we absolutely cannot afford to lose momentum at this point. 
If we put Project Promenade on hold, then we will lose every Cronin specialist on staff overnight. Monarch is paying double the wage as we are. It would be an absolute nightmare. Ah, Monarch is competing against you guys. That sounds like trouble. Our staff is a replacement we're struggling to hold on to them as it is. I've known William Joyce since childhood. There's no doubt that he's a genius, but he's also ha he also has a history of paranoia and mental instability. He's lost sight of the big picture. His concerns regarding Project Promenade are outlandish, unfounded, and based on ludicrous conjecture. The only reason we pulled Will in as an advisor is because there are no other qualified specialists available who the investors tr will trust to sign off on the project now that Dr. Kim is gone. We can't just wait for the board to find a suitable replacement because there are none. Kim approved these figures long before his death. I refuse to let Will sabotage everything we're building here. I need you to keep the investors distracted. Buy me time before a final decision is reached. Okay, and that was sent... Is this... Hold up, I gotta go all the way to the top. Okay, this was sent in at 11.37 a.m. This was sent in at 11.33, so this came in first. Okay, so Mary's just letting him know, Hey, Will's kind of providing some problems. The investors are worried. They're gonna take the money away. Goddamn investors. Always blocking scientific Jack, progress. You know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, well, if you just keep on suckering up to me, uh, I'll definitely help out, buddy old pal of mine that I don't know much about. Oh, uh, what do we got? Re coming home to Paul Serene, and this is for me. I'll pack my things and head to the airport ASAP. Whatever this is about, just make sure Will doesn't know I'm coming home. Not the kind of baggage I need to unpack right now. Woohoo. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I guess I could read all this. Holy shit, this is long. Oh my god! Oh my god, it just keeps going! What kind of baggage is really here? Okay, as much as I'm a kind of person who wants to read through all this, I'm just gonna skim. We're talking about problems, navigating my way through Vietnam, heading back to Thailand in the near future. Ah! Okay, Jack is kind of a world explorer, running away from home and never going back as he ventures around. Mm, okay! I just want to activate time machines, all right? <laughs> I am, I'm getting a little bit antsy about it. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Yeah, sure, pull a lever. That's my job here. Don't need a degree for this. Press W to activate the core. Yeah, all right. Here we go. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. Should I, like, not push it all the way to the top? That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll just keep on going. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? The figures are all stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool. But I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Dude, this thing's already tripping me the fuck out. I can see my face in the void. Whoa, man. Here, take this. 
You need this key to activate the corridor. Okay, uh, I just, uh, let me pick it up. There we go. <laughs> Give me the prompt so I can manipulate the universe. The at the same time to activate security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. <laughs> Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. This is a fucking time machine. Oh, you figured that out already, buddy. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Wait, you know how time travel works, right? If it's if it actually succeeded, I would have already seen you two minutes ago. This is risky, but fuck two it. Minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Aren't you supposed to, like, not Paul. see yourself? <laughs> what? How? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's, he's, he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Don't touch yourself that- Fucking incredible. I oh, just... Jesus. Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Horse. Wait, Paul, what are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. <laughs> yeah, sure, that sounds reasonable. Set it to the future, and then you never come back out. Or you come back out with weird powers, man. What are you doing? Oh, no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop him! Shut up! Yeah, hold, hold on, the core. Oh, hold on. We can't shut it down, Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. I'm mm. thinking straight. Put the gun down! Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what?
You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. You notice that, uh, things aren't looking so hot? I mean, I could hear shit's Will's frozen in the air. In head. Time is going to end. You sure you're okay in there, Paul? You know, I'm glad that Jack actually tried to run over here. What the fuck is this? It should have worked. It should It shows that Jack really does care as a friend. For now. Holy crap. Is this really happening? Don't worry, maybe we can just reverse time at some point. Oh, Will got fucked. What the hell? This is crazy. Will. Will. You just sit here and internally or externally panic. I'm gonna go try and help Paul. Maybe we can prevent him from becoming yet another villain in life. Come on. <laughs> Jammed! This wasn't supposed to happen! The figure's all Stutter. Collapsed. Come in here and say, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna shoot these guys. The, the drunk college students won't notice. But there's no way to help. I didn't know where he'd end up. Those guys jumped in quick. They were ready, man. What the hell? Hurry! This way! Do you hear that? They're shooting and they're also getting knocked out, which means Paul probably got out and is now punching the shit out of all of them. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out of control burst of energy that saved Will. Yeah, you also killed a guy. Your proximity to the pulse. It, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will. What I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. <laughs> yeah, dumb it down for us. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. Not the what? time egg. Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. Ah, that didn't help. Stand <laughs> back. I'll get it open. Yeah, I'll just use my gun or my time hands. Or just my shoulder. Securing the server room. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming in here. 
But I can also just shoot them. I got a gun now. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out. Shh, you... This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... Getting Paul. You have no context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. I can't. I can't Speaking argue with that us, one. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. Well, you're gonna shove that ladder out of the way, or what? There you go. <laughs> we just, like, sometimes randomly stop moving. I'm like, I'd rather not be caught up inside of a server room with hardly any space to move, right? Fracturing time is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm better at bashing my body into things. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 